So you took the leap and got Dubsado, but now you have to get clients into your system. So how do you do that? Welcome back to the Productive Co. YouTube channel. My name is Ray and I'm here to help you boost your efficiency, run your service-based business more smoothly, and wow your clients using Dubsado CRM. Today I'm going to show you five different ways you can get clients into your Dubsado account, and four of them are automated. Let's dive in. The first way to get your clients into Dubsado is to have them fill out a contact form on your website. Dubsado calls these lead captures. So they'll fill out their first name, their last name, and their email at the very minimum. And those details alone will be able to create a new project in Dubsado for you. The second way is with something called a public proposal. So a proposal is a type of form in Dubsado and it's called a public proposal when it's put onto your website. This is an opportunity for your client to select services or products they're interested directly from your website. And with proposals, you have the option to attach a contract and an invoice. So this is a super convenient way for them to get three steps done at one time. So they can choose the service that they're interested in. They can sign the contract if you have one attached, and they can also pay the invoice or make the first payment on the invoice if you attach that as well. Another option is to have clients enter Dubsado through the scheduler. So you can put a scheduler on your website where a client can book an appointment with you. In order for the scheduler to create a new project in Dubsado, there needs to be either a lead capture attached or a public proposal attached. So they'll start out by choosing the time that they're interested in, and then they'll hit submit, and then they'll need to either fill out the lead capture or the public proposal. Once they've filled out the form and hit submit, that is when their appointment is booked and that is when they enter into Dubsado as a project. So this is the lead capture here. And then this is just a different calendar view here with the public proposal attached. So the first four ways I've shown you are ways for clients to automatically enter themselves into Dubsado as new projects. The last way is for you to manually enter client information into Dubsado. To do that, you'll go into the Projects tab, and then you'll select the green button on the right side that says New Project. All you have to do is fill out the information on this page, and you can create a new project in Dubsado. If you want to learn more about Dubsado, I'll link to my Dubsado Workflow Secrets 5-day free e-course down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.